Welcome to Let's Learn This Together, a learning program by Embroidery Central for Embrilliant Stitch Artist software. The main syllabus, the readings for our course, are taken from the Stitch Artist manual. Now there are a few ways to get the manual. One is to go to the spot where you downloaded the, the program. Here you can see they have the Embrilliant software download and there's also a link called PDF. PDF is a file that's particularly made for printing out from computers and um, so it has everything laid out in sort of a book format. This is one option for your manual. Another is to open your embroidery software. The Embrilliant software itself has the manual in it. To access it, simply go to the Help menu and click Help. This brings up the Help book. As opposed to the PDF, however, the manual on your computer actually has a list of contents and doesn't just have all of the pages in order to, for you to just scroll through. What you do instead is click on the section of the manual that's of interest to you. I'm clicking on Stitch Artist here. You see it has a plus sign to the left of the little book. I click the plus sign to see more of what's inside. And here I can click plus signs for the rest of the books inside the Stitch Artist section of the program. And as you come to each section, notice there's just the section that I clicked on is all that's showing. If I want to read more, I need to click on, say, level one and read about that. So each of the pages needs to be clicked on individually. And that's how the the program version of the manual works. There is a third option for getting the manual and that is online. And Brilliance has an online manual and you can find it at their website. I usually link to this one in the emails that I send out with our reading assignments. This um, functions very similar to the, the manual version that you'll find in your software. You see there are books and you have to click on each book to actually view what's inside it. And in order to view different pages, you need to click on the question mark beside the page or on the section on the, uh, in the main screen. And you'll be able to see more about that information. So as long as you know that you need to do more clicking in the two online versions as opposed to the PDF, you'll be able to see all of that information. I hope this helps and I hope that we can all enjoy learning Stitch Artists together.